The Max 3 is finally in the studio. This is the unboxing video. You can see right there, it's very reflective. It has a uh, uh, plastic shrink wrap on it. We're just going to actually open this the first time on camera. I have never played with this yet. We have never used this yet. They're actually the first one we are using. So it comes in a box with a sleeve. This thing is very, very big, so we're gonna have to Hold it sideways for the most part. This thing has some pretty beefy specs. 13.3 inch flexible screen with flat cover lens. Uh, 2200 by 1650 octa-core, 2 gigahertz processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs onboard, Wacom, capacitive. This thing is really breaking the wall down between e-readers and tablets. We're now starting to see e-readers become tablets with an e-ink screen, which is very nice. Very, very refreshing to see. You get a gigantic screen protector with the device here, and it is stuck to the thing here, so be careful. You get a huge screen protector, put that off to the side. And the device itself looks very, very nice. Super lightweight, wow. That is, uh, that's fairly impressive. I guess we can just open it from the bottom. That should be sufficient enough. Get the whole thing out that way. Yeah, there we go. Boom. All right, we're gonna leave this off to the side like we always do till the very end and we see what else we have in the box. You have a little space cut out. They usually do that, but nothing really ever goes there. You do have some documentation, the warranty information, and the quick start guide. If you guys do lose your quick start guide, we do have quick start guides on our website, goodyreader.com, or you can just watch here and Pause the video at any point in time if you want to see what you have missed. So go ahead and look into that if you guys feel the need to. And we also have some stuff here with three little icons on it. So let's explore the rest of this box and see what we have inside. So inside, oh, we have a USB-C to SD card slot, TF, trans flash. That's what they call it in Asia and some parts of Europe. We have trans flash card. We have, uh, I think there's an HDMI cable in here. There should be somewhere. This is a HDMI right there. So that's a micro HDMI, I believe, not a mini HDMI. And you have a USB-C cable right there. And you have a white stylus. This is the first time they've actually switched up their styluses in quite a while. Um, you do have a little loop for an accessory loop, an eraser at the back. There's no secondary button and it doesn't feel like you can twist this open. We will be examining this stylus in future videos uh, as well as the review because, well, it's very different than the standard Wacom one they've included a million times over. So let's look at the device itself now. So it's very nice flush screen and bezel. You do have one button at the bottom with a surrounding ring of chrome, it looks like. Nothing on the one side. Pretty clean on the other side as well. And up top you have the status indicator, uh, oh, the hard reset and the status indicator light is built into the power button right there. And then on the bottom you have the HDMI port, the Torx screws, and you have a uh, USB-C as well as I'm assuming a microphone because there wouldn't be another hard reset at the bottom and you have dual audio at the back right there this thing is very nice on the back there's no branding whatsoever engraved in the device it's simply just on this little wraparound panel with um, some uh, branding uh, from books and some certifications for some Europe uh, some European countries, the EU, etc. So this is everything that comes along in the box. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let us know. And for an unboxing of the Max 3 by Onyx Books, this is Peter.